This is the thumbnail. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just finished wash day. I'm, I feel like I also I need to make this like mandatory. Like if you read Luster and you are like traumatized, triggered, you need to read this after. Like it was so beautiful. The artwork is amazing. Like I found myself smiling the whole time going through it. It's a graphic novel about four women of color. This takes place in New York as well and it's like they're all getting like their hair done and doing stuff and like they're chatting, they're interacting. It's super cute. It's so lighthearted. I was smiling the whole way through. It's definitely a palette cleanser after how heavy luster was. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I feel like it did a good job of like talking about like I think you even mentioned this, talking about some of the things that we go through, but without being triggering and without being heavy. Right. And I think right. it was because, like, they had the support of each other, like, in the friend group. Yeah, it's clear that all these topics were talked about from a place of love and also mutual respect. Yeah. Um, which Lester did not. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, it was just so nice and, like, it's a good cozy read. It is. You know when you buy books, it's like you want to buy all the books, but like it adds up, girl. So I'm trying to be like, okay, there's some things I can get from the library. There's some, because not everything that you read, you like necessarily want to keep. This is something that I want to keep. Like, I'm so happy to put this on the bookshelf. It's something that I'm going to go back to if I am um, just wanting to smile or if I just want to be immersed in like support, love, positivity, right? The culture. Yeah. It was so cute. Hashtag. What is it? Trademark. <laughs> trademark the culture yeah it's super cute so some of the topics that it went through dating which was nice mm -hmm. a little bit of like mental health like well, when, casual dating yeah I casual. Feel like it's you know that was dating technically too yeah yeah this was more of like a casual date situation what else family dynamics yes. and um i guess dementia yeah and also dating violent slash stalker mm -hmm. which you wouldn't think from this cover but it's not like it's like mm -hmm. yeah no it wasn't jarring and again i think i don't think it would be too triggering if those are triggers for you oh one reason why it wasn't for me is because her girls kind of came in and took care of the situation yeah. and like protected her i think that's what i love about this there's so much within this friend group there's so much like love consideration protection support at least for me like sometimes it feels difficult even for myself and vulnerable like experiencing different thoughts or feelings that are not the most positive because sometimes I feel like I'm going through that alone and oftentimes it's by choice like you know sometimes you don't want to burden people with like the things that you have going on like we're all going through things but it seemed like you could safely express it within this group like I wish that for all of us like a group a community a support system that is loving and protecting and like you feel safe and comforted like there's a point where like they all go out and like the online like <laughs> there's a point where they all go out and the girl who's kind of like struggling a little bit with her mental health like it seems like she's a little bit of dep going through like a little bit of a depressive episode like we've all been there but she wants to go out and support her friend but like she's tired like her other friend already sees cookie may we all have a cookie in our lives like cookie, for cookie. is just so loving so caring like oh my gosh like i don't want to say anything and like ruin it because it's so good to experience and i read it super quick before i finished it i might have been like 20 pages or so in how long would you say it was 20 minutes maybe about the same about 20. yeah like 20 minutes so easily digestible and we were like talking in between yeah like... <laughs> but there was a point where um you know she wanted she wasn't feeling it she wanted to go home cookie already knew and was like all right girl sleep over so they tell the other two girls like all right like we're about to head out like, oh y'all having a sleepover not without us the whole the whole group leaves together and that is me like i am team we come together we leave together like i guess you're not <laughs> as someone who is more so like the depressed person in the group i don't want to bring people down like i'll make sure you got someone to go home with but i will gladly take an uber and not ruin the night if i could just have my peace see that's where that's where like a good support system comes in like you're not ruining the night like if you want to go home, we're going home. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like finding that good group of people. So I love that. And then like, they were all chilling, having a good time. There was um, one of the girls, like she missed her hair appointment. Like the same girl who's like going through a little something. Cookie comes over right away, does her, does her straight backs for her. Like Cookie, 
Yes. Maybe and I'll have gave homegirl a crystal. She did. She did. Out her own bag. So, you know, she needed it too. Yeah. Which is something like kind of like like a small little note. Like if she had it, oh, this is perfect for that. Why did Cookie have it? Very true. And she just gave what she had. She so it's did. just so sweet. Yeah. It was really sweet. Read it. I mean, you don't need to read Lester to read this. Like if you just want to read something that makes you feel good, makes you happy, makes you smile, definitely recommend this. Like. This is something that I'm definitely gonna pick up from time to time. Like I started reading it yesterday because it was my wash day and like I did my braids. <laughs> but then I just started learning how to braid so it literally takes me all day so I couldn't finish it. But yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. This might be my favorite read so far. Just cause for uh, how good ever, it made me or feel. Just like of the stuff I've read this year. Okay. Cause it just I think it's on my smile. list also, yeah. Yeah, it definitely made me smile. Anything else that I should touch on? Like I feel like I don't want to say anything without spoiling it. Yeah. But it's just it's a beautifully written and drawn graphic like, novel. Get into this artwork. I don't wanna like do too much, but like it's beautiful. And I was pretty rough with it. Like I, I haven't seen many books like this that are like soft cover, but like this like thicker yeah. yeah no me either but maybe it's a graphic novel thing this is the first one i've ever read so interesting although i do want to get that anime of the domestic girlfriend because if they ain't making another season <laughs> I need oh the manga yeah yeah oh, manga sorry yeah i like the show yeah so shout out to jamila roser and robin smith like i love this i'm definitely gonna check out more stuff from them like this is you know we should follow them that way yeah i will we should follow like all the author, authors and stuff that we like. I was gonna tell you that because I, I started doing that for the stuff um, that I read. Okay. Um, but thank y'all for this. Like, this is what I wanna see. Like when we talk about representation, diversity, inclusion, like, and we can still touch on things without it being heavy all the time. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I agree, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go because we're literally booked, but check it out. It's lovely. Yeah. If you read it, let me know your thoughts down below. And if you like graphic novels, please recommend more because yeah. this was the first one and I think I would definitely love more. I feel like it's a perfect, like, oh, I'm about to go on like a, a train ride or a bus ride. Let me toss this in my purse really yeah. quick. So recommend yeah. some TV. For sure, for sure. Right, see you later. Bye. Bye.